Hi, welcome. Uh, as you know, my name is Bobby Somers. If you didn't know, then you know now. I want to take this opportunity again as we are, you know, in the crisis, the situation that we're in still going on to continue to encourage your faith because faith needs to stay on top of everything. If we're going to stay afloat, faith has to keep us afloat. And so the word of God is that which informs our faith and keeps our faith in the way that God wants it to. And I've been asking the question in two previous of those two previous short videos that I did about, you know, whose report are we going to believe based on Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 1. And uh, for us as believers, we're going to believe the report of the Lord in the midst of what is happening around us. He has given us a report even before, ahead of time. He knew that these days like these would come and he tells us things before for us to have an anchor. And another verse of scripture that I want to share with us is in, in John 14 and verse 27. And hear what the Lord Jesus says. He says, my peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So what we're seeing here, the peace that we have received from Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit brings that to us. It's a peace that gives us the ability to keep ourselves from being afraid. The news that we're hearing, if you're, if you're watching on television, if you're, if you're connecting to the media, social media, it's fear. You go outside, fear. In the supermarkets, in the pharmacy, on the streets, the gas station, everywhere, the fear. So if you're in your home, you wouldn't even be thinking about it unless you're watching television, watching the news. But the moment you go outside, it's there. But Jesus says, if you receive the peace that I give unto you and the peace that I left with you, he said, you don't have to be afraid. Because the peace of God, the scripture said, deposit all human understanding and it's able to be an umpire where your mind, because the mind is the, is the battlefield, you know, that's where it starts. When you hear something, when you see something, when you feel something, smell something, it, it, is, it is registering fear to you, speaking fear to you. But he says, neither let your heart be afraid. So we have control. You can choose to be afraid or you can choose not to be afraid. And if we receive the peace of God that comes to us through Christ, that was the peace that Jesus had functioning in in time. And he said that I'm leaving it with you. I'm giving it to you. So it's a gift. I'm leaving with you. It's for us to guard it. And we also have the right to use it, to benefit from it. So I'm, I'm, I'm reading it one more time. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. So peace. Whose peace? What peace? My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Don't be afraid. Because you have the peace that Jesus himself had when he was here. And facing everything that he faced, he went through with strength. You and I too can go through this corona, COVID, virus, moment and situation with peace, not fear. Bless you and I'll see you soon.